Hey, it's Tom from WPWithTom.com, and in this video, I'm going to cover the topic, Is Elementor Pro Worth It? So let's dive in. Before we dive in, I'm going to just tell you I have a link below in the description. It's WPWithTom.com slash Elementor. This is an affiliate link, but you can also use it to follow along with what I'm talking about here. And I also have tutorials on how to use Elementor for free and Elementor Pro as well. So be sure to subscribe and check those out if you're interested. So first, I just wanted to talk about these Pro elements. And right here, there are 24 different Pro elements at this time within the feature section in the widgets area on the Elementor website. So there's things in here like pricing tables, call to actions, logins. There's all different things in here that you often would need a specific plugin to do what some of these things do. So that alone makes it very valuable in my opinion because you're not using as many plugins as you may use if you were creating a site without Elementor. You might end up going from needing 20 plugins to 15 or 10 plugins with all these awesome elements created by the Elementor team within a pro and a free version actually as well. And with the pro version here, it allows you to create websites easier and faster. So that alone to me is probably worth the money for most developers or development teams where this isn't something that's a great thing necessarily is that there's a lot of people out there who just want to make a website a simple website and they're on a budget and they just want to do it very cost effective you can use the free version and make a nice website i have tutorials on that on this channel if you want to check them out but with the pro version you have a lot more of an ability to make beautiful websites quickly and easily so another thing that i should cover here is that elementor and the team are always innovating so with their team They've had more innovation, in my opinion, over the last few years than their competition by a long shot. When you compare it to things like Divi, Beaver Builder, Thrive, Themify, I just feel like they're just moving along faster and creating more things. Additionally, there's a lot of other plugins that are being built specifically for their platform that aren't necessarily catering toward the other builders. So you're just getting more and more strength behind the Elementor Builder. And I really think that they're just pushing the innovation a lot more than the other builders, to be completely honest. Now, with that being said, that doesn't mean I hate the other builders or anything like that. I actually use Divi on some websites. I use Elementor on websites. I like to use different builders for different scenarios. But I do think Elementor Pro is leading the way in the innovation. So another thing that I wanted to cover as far as a pro goes here is there is a 30-day money-back guarantee for purchases that you do make of Elementor Pro, and that is worth noting. And right here, it tells you more about this on the pricing page. There's 50 Pro widgets, it says here, 300 Pro templates. I do think that they could have a little bit better selection with the Pro templates, but you can also use something like Envato Elements for Elementor and take advantage of some of their Pro templates as well, or their free ones that are actually quite nice as well. I'm gonna have tutorials on them as well. You can also use the pop-up builder and there is support that comes with the pro version as well. So something that I would consider a somewhat con here is the price. I did mention that you could get numerous websites built with Elementor Pro. And if you did the $199 for up to a thousand websites per license here, you would be able to make so many websites and recoup your money very quickly. But the thing that I will say is some of these other builders in particular, I know Divi has a lifetime plan that's around $250 or so, $225. I think I have a discount below for that if you're interested. But with Elementor, you're paying year to year. And I realize that this is part of why they're always innovating because they have to keep innovating and making people who are paying these recurring rates benefit from their recurring payment. They're getting a benefit by basically paying into future innovation for the plugin. And it's really a nice effect to have, but some people can't afford the recurring payment if they're just trying to make a simple website. That's where I would say opt for the free plugin and just try to make the best site you can, maybe use some other plugins as well. But in most cases, I would say that the pro just outweighs the cons here with Elementor Pro. Another thing that could potentially be considered a con for most people, and it's a pretty obvious one here, is that 
it can only be used on WordPress websites. You can't use this on Wix. You can't use this on Squarespace or something like that. So you want to know going into creating a website with Elementor that you're going to be limited to WordPress. Now, I think WordPress is a wonderful content management system, but some people are more comfortable with Wix or Squarespace or something like that. And just know that you only can use it with WordPress websites. And that is something that most people need to know if they're just starting out and they're not familiar with what platforms are what. And I just wanted to quickly just show you over here. If we go over to this page, this is what Elementor Pro looks like within the actual builder. The free one looks the same, but you have many more widgets than the basic ones up here when you look at Pro. And you can literally just drag and drop these right over in to an area. So what you would need to do is just hit plus here and you could just add a widget. You can choose the structure and I'll just hit plus and then I'll go and I'll just choose a pro element here. Let's just go with the pricing table and I can just drag it and drop it right in. It's pretty nice to have the ability to just create a pricing table in just a few clicks and then you can just go and edit it as needed here with like something with styles and change the colors, typography, the list. So you can literally make elements do what you want in a matter of seconds or minutes with an element or pro and I totally think that makes it worth it just alone right there because of the time it's going to save you in the development process. If you run a design company or you're just getting started out doing freelance design or something like that, it is a no brainer to have Elementor Pro. So with that all being said, I hope this video helped you see that Elementor Pro is probably worth it for most people out there, except the people that are on a budget and really just trying to set up a simple website. The free version of Elementor that they've created is probably fine for you. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please consider giving it a like and subscribe for more WordPress related content. Thanks for viewing and have a wonderful day.